Hello mortals. The moon, Luna, Selene, Cynthia, all are names that describe our second most historically important space object after the sun, our mighty provider of vitamin D and skin cancer. The moon has been a huge part of almost every mythology, from a Mesopotamian deity associated with magic and sorcery, to the cover used by vampires and werewolves. If only vampires were scientifically literate enough to realize that the light coming from the moon is just a reflection of sunlight, which theoretically should burn them to a crisp as well. So let's find out what would happen if this werewolf generator disappears and is replaced with something more exciting. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Well for one, obviously no more werewolves, and no more crabs, since they rely on tides to survive, which won't happen because there is no moon to gravitationally cause tides. And goodbye to a lot of nocturnal animals that use moonlight in order to see stuff. And last but not least, seasons. Very extreme seasons. The Earth is kept tilted by 23.5 degrees on its axis thanks to the moon. That tilt results in the four seasons that we know of. Without the moon, the tilt would change uncontrollably. Some months you could tan on some beach in Antarctica, others you can experience frostpunk first-handedly. So getting rid of the moon is apparently not good for the well-being of humanity. US military, did you hear that? No nuking the moon. But now that it's gone anyway, let's find a replacement. The most boring options would be the totally planet don't care what scientists say Pluto and Mercury. The first is one third smaller while the second is one third larger than the moon. Pluto would be distinguishable thanks to its heart shape and brown patch, but many might not even notice Mercury because of the similar size and texture. As with every entry in this video, they would mess with the Earth's tilt screwing up the seasons and a lot of ecosystems but probably not an instantly devastating result. So let's transition to something more exciting. Meet Venus. Nearly as big as Earth, it would stop being a moon, and instead transform Earth into a double planetary system. The sulfuric clouds that cover its surface make the Venus one of the most reflective surfaces in the solar system, bouncing back around 70% of the incoming light. And in terms of it orbiting the Earth, we would have no more dark nights. Rest in peace to your circadian rhythms and hello to vitamin death overdose. Give that some more time and the planets will end up colliding into each other as their orbit decays. Although humanity will probably auto-destruct before that as they see an entire planet orbiting closer and closer every night. Mars on the other hand would act like Venus's edgy emo sister. Because of all the iron oxide on its surface, it would glow red and give our nights an eerie bloody tint to them. Talk about super werewolves. Oh right and the gravity would make the waves enormous, big enough for the super werewolves to surf on. Now if you want tsunamis every day, replace Mars with Neptune or Uranus, both roughly four times as big as Earth. At this point, they won't act as a moon for us anymore, we'd act as their moon instead. But not for long until we collapse into it. We would at least have a good laugh before dying making jokes on how Earth is about to penetrate Uranus before its demise. A more decent and spectacular view would be Saturn. We would be part of its outer ring edge, that spans more than the distance between the Earth and the Moon. The rest of the view would be magnificent, that is until the rocks form the rings start bombarding Earth and wiping us off. Our final planet is Jupiter. Being the most massive planet in the solar system, we would end up being simply another Jovian moon. But due to the strong gravity, the exerted force on the different sides of Earth would be strong enough to cause cataclysmic earthquakes and volcanoes that could lead up to distorting the shape of the planet. Before that, we would at least get a good view of the red spot, the storm that could fit three entire Earths inside, a very calming thought to have as Earth transforms into an apocalyptic wasteland. And now that we're done with the planets, what would happen if we replaced the moon with the sun itself? Death. That's the answer. Because you'd be inside the sun. That's because the distance between moon and Earth is 3.5 times smaller than the sun's diameter. The Earth would literally melt into its constituent atoms that would act as thermonuclear fuel. But hey, then imagine not having to worry about waking up on Monday for work. Totally worth it. Those worries might be a bit far-fetched, but some that are not, is having to worry about your internet connection being insecure, or not being able to access content available only to specific regions. You already know who it is. NordVPN is here to help you out. With the fastest connection speed and over 5,000 servers in 60 countries, you can digitally teleport anywhere in the world with only one click. Is a streaming platform or service not available at your location? 
or is that game you wanted cheaper in another country? Change your location in seconds, and profit. And you can do all of that on six simultaneous devices on every major platform. My Skynet headquarters server has its location set to Moldova through the VPN and they still didn't figure it out. You can get 70% off your two-year NordVPN subscription, paying only $3.56 per month. By accessing the link from the description and using the coupon science file, you also get an entire month for free. Back to the video. Now that we're done with the solar system, let's pick something more exciting to replace Earth's new companion. Obviously beginning with black holes. If we replace the moon with a moon-massed black hole, its radius would be one-tenth of a millimeter, meaning that we wouldn't be able to directly see it even using the Hubble telescope. You would barely notice it even if it were in your palm, visually speaking. It would still however cause tides and affect the Earth's tilt the way our moon does. But since the mass would be equivalent, the orbits would remain unchanged. Now, if the black hole had the same radius as the moon, it would have the mass of 588 suns. With a gravitational field 2.6 billion times stronger than that of Earth, our planet would very quickly have its orbit decayed and be devoured by it. And forget about the sun being the center of the solar system, the moon-sized black hole would be the new captain. A captain that would eventually devour all the objects in our solar system. Perhaps unsurprisingly, a similar fate would await us if we replaced the moon with most of the extreme objects in the universe, be it neutron stars, pulsars, quasi stars, or magnetars. But what if we replaced the moon with Stevenson 218, the largest known star so far? Yeah, not even close. And I'm not even talking about the biggest known black hole, Ton 618. 